Welcome to Podcast Learn and Fun. Let's start today's journey of learning. You know, um, it's amazing to think that something is as commonplace as a smartphone right. relies on principles that completely defy our everyday experience. It really is. We're talking about the world of quantum mechanics where things don't behave as neatly as they do in the world we can, you know, see and touch. Exactly. And at the heart of this strange quantum world yeah. lies a concept called Planck's constant. It's this incredibly tiny number. I mean, really, really tiny. Oh, yeah. But it plays a huge e role in our understanding of energy and matter yeah. at their most fundamental levels. It's like a key that unlocks the secrets of the universe at the smallest scales. Without it, we wouldn't have lasers, transistors, LED lights, so many technologies we take for granted. So what exactly is this Planck's constant? Imagine you have a beam of light. Okay. Now zoom in on that beam until you see that it's not just a continuous stream of energy. Right. But rather it's made up of these tiny packets of energy called photons. And Planck's constant is what connects the energy of each of those photons to its frequency. Think of frequency like the color of light. Red light has a lower frequency than blue light. Planck's constant tells us how much energy is packed into each uh, color of light. So higher frequency means more energy per photon. It's kind of like climbing a staircase. Uh -huh. You can only be on one step at a time. You can't be halfway between steps. Right. And each step represents a specific amount of energy. That's a great analogy. That's what we mean by the quantization of energy. Energy exists in these discrete packets, not as a smooth, continuous flow. And this was a revolutionary idea because classical physics, the physics of our everyday world, assumed energy could take on any value. Right. It's like discovering that the universe has a built-in pixelation at its core. Yeah. And this realization, this quantization of energy, completely changed how we understand the universe at its most fundamental level. Absolutely. It was a huge shift in thinking, and it all started with Max Planck trying to solve a problem that was baffling physicists at the time. They called it the ultraviolet catastrophe. Okay, ultraviolet catastrophe. That sounds pretty intense. What was that all about? Well, physicists were trying to figure out how the color of light emitted by an object relates to its temperature. Think of how a piece of metal glows red when it's heated. Right, like the heating elements on a stove. Exactly. But the problem was that classical physics predicted that as an object got hotter, it should emit an infinite amount of energy in the ultraviolet part of the spectrum, which obviously doesn't happen. Infinite energy. That definitely doesn't sound right. So how did Planck resolve this? His solution was radical. He proposed that energy at the atomic level couldn't just take on any value. It had to be emitted in these discrete packets or quanta. And he introduced a constant, now known as Planck's constant, to link the energy of these quanta to their frequency. So he essentially rewrote the rules of the game. He did. And it worked. His theory matched the experimental observations perfectly, putting an end to the ultraviolet catastrophe and paving the way for the development of quantum mechanics. It was a truly groundbreaking moment in physics. And Planck's constant, the seemingly insignificant number, became a cornerstone of this new quantum reality. It's, it's mind-boggling to think that this tiny constant has such profound implications. Mm. It's, like, it's like finding a single grain of sand that holds the blueprint for the entire universe. That's a great way to put it. And the deeper we delve into quantum mechanics, the more we realize just how essential Planck's constant is to our understanding the universe. Yeah. It pops up everywhere, from the behavior of atoms to the nature of light itself. Okay, I have to ask, if energy is quantized, does that mean time is too? Could there be a smallest unit of time, like a time pixel? That's a fascinating question, and one that physicists are still grappling with. There's a concept called Planck time, which is the smallest unit of time that has any meaning in our current understanding of physics. It's incredibly small, billions upon billions of times smaller than a second. So we're talking about time scales that are completely beyond our everyday comprehension. Absolutely. And whether or not time is truly quantized at this scale is still an open question. It's at the forefront of theoretical physics, pushing the boundaries of what we know about the universe. So Planck's constant has opened up not just new areas of physics, but entirely new ways of thinking about the nature of reality itself. Exactly. And this shift in thinking has led to some truly mind-bending concepts. Take, for example, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. It states that we can never simultaneously know both the position and momentum of a particle with perfect accuracy. Wait, so you're saying there's a fundamental limit to what we can know about the world? That's right. It's not a limitation of our measuring tools, but a fundamental property of the universe itself. 
The more precisely we try to measure a particle's position, the less we know about its momentum and vice versa. That's, that's wild. It sounds like the universe is playing a cosmic game of hide and seek with us. In a way it is. And Planck's constant plays a key role in this uncertainty. It sets the scale for how much uncertainty there is in these measurements. So it's like Planck's constant is injecting a dose of randomness into the universe. It's more like it's introducing a fundamental fuzziness, a blurriness to reality at the quantum level. And this fuzziness has profound implications for how we understand the behavior of particles and the nature of reality itself. This is really blowing my mind. We're talking about a universe where things aren't as clear cut as they seem, where there's an inherent uncertainty built into the fabric of reality. And it all goes back to this tiny constant, Planck's constant. It's amazing, isn't it? And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Planck's constant also underpins the concept of wave-particle duality, where particles like electrons can exhibit both wave-like and particle-like behavior. Okay, I've heard about this wave-particle duality, but it's always seemed so paradoxical. How can something be both a wave and a particle at the same time? It's one of the most counterintuitive aspects of quantum mechanics. But experiments have shown that particles like electrons can act like waves, spreading out and interfering with each other like ripples on a pond. But they can also act like particles, localized in space, and interacting with other particles in discrete collisions. So it depends on how we observe them. Exactly. The way we choose to observe a particle influences how it behaves. It's like the universe is presenting us with a choose-your-own-adventure story. That's wild. So it's not just that we can't know everything with perfect certainty, but the very act of observing influences the outcome. It's like the universe is constantly changing based on how we're looking at it. That's a great way to put it. And again, Planck's constant is a key player in this strange dance between observer and observed. It defines the scale at which these quantum effects become significant. It's like we've stumbled into a hidden world where the rules of reality are completely different from what we're used to. And Planck's constant is the secret password that allows us to enter this realm. It's like we've fallen down the rabbit hole into Wonderland where nothing is as it seems. And Planck's constant is our guide through this strange and wonderful landscape. I'm curious about the practical side of all this. Does Planck's constant actually have, uh, you know, real world applications? I mean, beyond explaining these mind-bending quantum phenomena. Absolutely. Planck's constant is more than just a theoretical concept. It's a fundamental constant that underpins many of the technologies we use every day. For example, lasers wouldn't exist without our understanding of quantized energy levels, which are directly related to Planck's constant. Oh, that's right. Lasers use those specific energy transitions in atoms to create those highly focused beams of light. Exactly. And the same goes for transistors, the tiny building blocks of our computers and smartphones. They rely on the quantum behavior of electrons, which is governed by, you guessed it, Planck's constant. Wow, so every time I use my phone, I'm essentially tapping into the power of Planck's constant. You are, and it doesn't stop there. LED lights, medical imaging techniques like MRI, even the development of new materials, all these fields are influenced by our understanding of quantum mechanics, and therefore by Planck's constant. It's, it's incredible to think that this tiny constant discovered over a century ago is now powering so much of our modern world. It's like a hidden code that unlocks the potential of the universe. It's a testament to the power of basic research and the enduring legacy of scientific discoveries. You never know where a seemingly abstract idea might lead. Okay, I have one last question for you. With all this talk about uncertainty and the fuzziness of reality, does that mean there's no such thing as objective truth? Is everything just a matter of perspective? That's a deep philosophical question and one that's been debated for centuries. While quantum mechanics introduces uncertainty at the fundamental level, it doesn't necessarily invalidate the idea of objective truth. It simply means that our understanding of reality is more nuanced and complex than we previously thought. So it's not about throwing out the old rules entirely, but expanding our framework for understanding the universe. Precisely. We're constantly refining our models of reality as we learn more. And quantum mechanics has shown us that there's always more to discover, always deeper layers of reality to explore. Well, this has been an incredible journey into the quantum world. I feel like my brain has expanded and, and I'm left with a sense of awe and wonder at the mysteries of the universe. And that's the beauty of science. It's a never-ending quest for knowledge and understanding. There's always something new to learn, always another mystery to unravel. Thank you for listening to Podcast Learn and Fun. If you like our videos, please subscribe, click the like button, comment, and share. See you next time.